I don't think I can do this video and take myself seriously wearing this jacket right now. I look huge. I am headed out to see Dr. Katie Belesne, who's a dermatologist in Vancouver. She's at Humphrey Dermatology. Views from this office, oh my God. I just realized I have spit up on my shirt from my child. <laughs> I thought I looked pretty good today. Okay, I just finished my consult with Dr. Belesne. She's so lovely. Oh my God, her skin is flawless. Like, it's beautiful. And that's always what you want to see. <laughs> the biggest things for me would be like pigmentation here on my forehead and then um, some fine lines on my forehead, like maybe some baby Botox and a little bit around my eyes but honestly I like that when I laugh you can really see that and like I don't mind the fine lines too much around here um maybe some stuff here so we talked about like Botox fillers lasers and she put together a treatment plan so I'm gonna kind of figure out what I want and um the schedule moving forward and then I think I'm gonna do a series of videos on all of my treatments and kind of the journey and then a before and after. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will address those with her in future appointments. Yeah, I'm really excited. Like, I don't think that my skin is terrible by any means at all, but it'll be nice to kind of get a little refresh after COVID and then having a baby. I'm gonna do my first treatment. So today we're gonna do some lasers. We're doing IPL and Clear and Brilliant. I've had IPL before quite a few years ago. It's really good for like pigmentation, scarring, I guess you could call it that. Like I have some after pimple spots that need some taking care of. I'm really excited to kind of get a bit more of an even complexion so that I'm not as self-conscious not wearing makeup going out. I don't wear makeup most of the time, especially now with a new baby. And so I just am trying to get my skin in as good shape as I can. And then we're also doing clear and brilliant and I'll get her to talk about that a little bit. It's my first time getting it. We're gonna be doing kind of like a whole skincare journey. I'm gonna be trying Botox for the first time once I'm done breastfeeding. I'm just feeling like I need a refresh a little bit, a little bit of a tune up, you know? I'm gonna be 34 in a few weeks and I think I look pretty good and I, want to look my age. I think wrinkles and everything are totally fine. I'm definitely not somebody who is a proponent for anti-aging because aging is definitely a privilege. Probably should have washed my hair before I came, but I think we will be doing a Q&A on an Instagram live, so I'll keep you posted about that. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at The August Diaries. If you have any questions that you want to leave in the comments, please do so, I will get back to you on those, or I will ask Dr. B. Okay, so I am here with Dr. Katie Belesne at Humphrey Dermatology, and we are gonna chat about the two lasers that I'm getting. So the first one is IPL, mm -hmm. and that stands for what? Intense Pulse Light. Okay. So it's broadband sort of pulses of light that we use um, all over the skin, on the face, and that can help with um, reducing red, if they, you know somebody has rosacea or redness in the skin, for example, it can also help with pigmentation and yeah. sunspots. So I really think IPL is like a good workhorse for evening out the skin tone. It does stimulate some collagen, so that can be helpful for overall strength and quality of the skin. And then the second one that you pair, you pair them together, mm -hmm. the second one is clear and brilliant. So what's the difference and kind of why do they go together? Right. So we also do the Clear and Brilliant, and the two do work synergistically to kind of help overall with the quality of the skin. Clear and Brilliant is a non-ablative fractionated laser, um, and it works sort of 
underneath the skin to help with things like pores. So it can help with pores, it can help with texture and fine lines. We can take it a little closer to the eye so it can help in that region. And then it also helps with pigmentation and sunspots. So it does really pair nicely with the IPL to help overall with the complexion. Okay, so, but there are two different kinds of lasers. There are two different types, yes. Okay. And we commonly do it because we just have seen that the effect when doing them at the same time is just sort of amplifies the effect of either on their own. And so it's been a really nice pairing for our patients and, and ourselves who do it. Uh, so we really do like it in our office. Yeah, and it's nice to kind of get it done at the same time as well. So you're not kind of like going yes. in and out to the office and also having, you know, the downtime. I mean, there's not much downtime. Obviously, it depends on your patients. Yeah, and I find that like a lot of people have busy lives and they don't want things that they have to hide out for a week or two on end. So um, this treatment, you are a little red the day of, but you can usually get back to your normal activities pretty quickly. Yeah. IPL. It's looking great. She's very happy and I'm very excited. Oh. Okay, this is post clear and brilliant, so quite red and my face feels like it's burning a little bit, but it's not unbearable at all. Nothing like the halo treatment that I had. Hello. My face is looking quite red. It's burning a little bit, so I'm gonna put the AC right on it. The redness will definitely subside. The swelling will subside a little bit, and over the next week or so, my skin is gonna start looking amazing and I'm really, really, really excited. I'm gonna go back for at least one more of the laser. Dr. Blesne said I might need three. I think they say anywhere from like three to six, depending on your skin. In terms of pain, it wasn't that bad at all. She was able to be quite thorough because I could stand it, which is awesome. She said I had a fairly high pain threshold, so just in terms of um, relativity for you guys. I was super, super impressed by everyone at the office. So I saw Dr. Belesne first and she went over everything with me, answered any questions that I had, and then the registered nurse came in and she was the one who actually did the treatment. She was so lovely. She told me exactly what she was gonna do as she was doing it, checked in with me the whole time. Everybody was so professional. I was really, really impressed. I would say that was like the most thorough I've ever had and and kind of the most comfortable that I've felt with somebody doing that, you know, cause it's always a little bit scary having like lasers on your face. You just never know what's gonna happen. So definitely having somebody who's a nurse and who's overseen by a dermatologist and who checks in with you all the time was really comforting for me. So now, very excited, I'm gonna go pick up the samples for my collection with True Curated. They look so good. I can't wait to like put them on and play with them. In terms of aftercare, she was saying not to use any acids or retinol. Um, so no like glycolic, salicylic, AHA, BHA, BHA. Yeah, just to use vitamin C, so antioxidants and a good moisturizer. Here we have the morning after and we've got some nice brown spots coming up which is great. A little bit pink, some brown spots up there, and on this side too. It's not painful, it's not puffy or swollen or anything. 
Feels a little bit sandpapery, but not a ton. I think it'll get more sandpapery. That's what we got. I've been up since 3 a.m. But I'm feeling pretty good. I went to sleep at like nine. So my husband and I take shifts when he's not working. I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna put on a vitamin C serum. And I'm using these Aven Tolerance Control. I've been using the balm, but as you can see, I'm out of it. I'm like scraping inside the tube, but I also have the cream, which is less intense. And then I'm gonna use their mineral sunscreen. This is day four post. It looks pretty similar to yesterday. Um, it feels a little bit sandpapery to the touch. And I've just been putting a ton of moisturizer on and wearing mineral sunscreen. I'm so excited for this to come off. Yeah. Hi. I don't want to be too loud because my husband is trying to put our baby down and our house is not super soundproof, which is not great. Anyways, wanted to check in with you guys. This is day eight post laser. So as you can see, a lot of the like larger, darker spots have sloughed off, but we still have some of the smaller brown spots. But overall looking good, I'm really excited. My skin feels really soft not sandpapery that kind of like slowly came off as well i've been using no retinol no acids and have been using antioxidants like vitamin c and then just a lot of hydration and then i'm going for my second session hi we are almost two and a half weeks post treatment so this is way better way better started using acids and some low dose retinol again i can't believe how much better this is we're definitely working on this the stuff that's like not quite so prominent is actually harder to get out so we'll definitely have one at least one more session and see how that goes and my brows are holding up so well this is from like at least two years ago they're microbladed I'll link a video in case you want to know more about that and like where I went and everything. Okay, so I'm here for appointment number two for my IPL and Clearing Brilliant. And I was super, super happy with the results from the first go round. I feel like my skin is a lot more even. The tone is really great. It's like a lot softer. By the way, these are glasses from Bailey Nelson. They're like huge, but I love them. Okay, I have numbing cream on, so we're gonna let it sit for like 15 or 20 minutes. You can still obviously like feel the laser, but the numbing cream just helps cut it a little bit. I don't find it too bad at all. Like it's not like comfortable, but I don't find it to be painful. And I just saw my like side-by-side -side photos of before and after the first treatment, and it's very exciting, I have to say. We are done. I am wearing a tinted sunscreen right now, so it's actually a little bit more red. We went up with the settings. That was a little bit more painful than before, but that's good. It means it'll really get in there. A little bit puffy, a little bit red. This should go down by tomorrow. It should be totally fine. And they put on the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic right after and then they put sunscreen over same day this evening i've just washed my face and i put on this sical fate from aven it's restorative protective cream definitely red and a little bit puffy under the eyes this is me after my third treatment of ipl and clear and brilliant this is about a week and a half after my third and final treatment for now i'm super super happy with how everything worked out. I think that my skin looks so much better. It's so much more even. My pigmentation is so much better. All in all, so happy with it. I didn't go through each of the subsequent 
sessions just because it's like a similar process but um, depending on like how your skin does they will increase it so I have no tan or anything I wear sunscreen all the time that's something you really need to be diligent with she said that maybe in about six months um, so that's in the summer so maybe I'll wait until I don't have a tan because even though I wear sunscreen all the time and I normally wear a hat, I'll usually get like a little bit of color. I tan really easily. So I'll do maybe like a touch up treatment sometime mid next year. Mid this year, it is 2022, oh my God. I wanted to wrap up and let you know my final thoughts and show you the final result. I will also insert before and after photos so that you can see the difference with like the exact same camera, the exact same lighting, exact same location and everything. I think that that's really helpful. That's something that they are super diligent about. My forehead is also looking quite uh, smooth. Got a little bit of baby Botox. So I feel like my refresh is just made me feel so much better. It's such a nice feeling, especially after having a baby and going through all the postpartum stuff and being in a pandemic, it's a lot. So I do have a video on my whole Botox process and I show me actually getting the injections, um, take you fully into the office with me. So if you're interested in that, I will link it if it's out and thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know i'm happy to talk to dr belesne as well and i'll see you next time